Alright, hello people out there, this is Michael the Two and a Half Stooges, and this is Pokemon Hardcore Playthrough Part 53. Janine! Um, I didn't catch that, sorry, I pushed the button too fast. Fifth Gen Leader of Kanto, and if you haven't watched the last part, you, uh, I sh suppose I should fill in a little bit. I'm, I'm doing the rematches of Gym Leaders and the Fighting Dojo 1, because I think they're a significant part of the game, and I ought to show them off on 2. I really need the experience. Anyway, um, leading off here, Crobat, um... Well, 52, Heat Wave, Cross Poison, Confuse Ray, and U-Turn. Um, okay, you're gonna be annoying and use Confuse Ray, and, um... I have, uh, HTML here because it's HTML has Psychic, and that's super effective against the majority of our team. Um, all except one, actually. Uh, granted, if I had actually looked up at my computer screen where Janine's team is open on Bulbapedia, I would have known that it has... Um, Crobat leading off, and I could probably think of a bit of a better matchup for Crobat, but whatever. Uh, either way, if I get to hit you, yes, with, um, Psychic through Confusion, and I don't know why you're sending out Toxicroak. Then again, you don't know that I have Psychic, that's probably gonna take you down, because you're four times weak to it being, um, fighting in Poison. Cross Trap, Poison Jab, Attract, and Substitutes the Musa, Thrashkin ability, so... It's also kind of weak to Fire, um, but I think it either doesn't take damage or takes reduced damage from water, or something like that. Uh, Dreskin's an interesting ability. Venomoth, um, let's see. Java, why not? I send you out too. Roll 59, Psychic, Bug Buzz, Sleep Powder, and Double Team. Um, if this thing is faster than me, it's probably going to try and use Sleep Powder or Double Team and be really annoying because Janine is the poison type gym leader and that's pretty much the pinnacle of being annoying in Pokemon games. Um, or, so I've noticed from past experience, I don't know if anyone else is, um, thinks that way or not. Uh, anyway, this thing should go down at... I say it should go down and it doesn't... Thanks. Nah. There's one good thing, I think I said just better brought it out of, um, Fuller Store Ranger, whatever crazy items Janine had there. Um, let's see. Alright, so good it does, and no item spam, and um, I get to use flamethrower, and you're probably gonna go down right here. No? Yes? No? Thank you very much. Yeah, I would've been a, a bit nervous if, um, that thing didn't go down there. Um, alright, so some level up. Uh, a wheezing, alright? I always kind of regard this thing as a bit of a joke, uh, wheezing and muck, because they're such ridiculous in appearance, I'm sorry. Well, 56, Thunderball, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, and Explosion. Yay, more Explosion. I kind of do want to see someone use that, eventually, because I've only seen a couple people use it against me in this playthrough, and, um... I know it's not going to do all that much damage to HTML because of the defense and stuff, but... Yeah. No going boom, oh well. Um... Let's see. I've been saying that for a while now, but I want to see someone use Explosion, but... Guess it won't happen. Oh well. So you're getting some experience and you're sending in Crobat again. I'm gonna not wanna deal with the status and go with um Just gonna send an EXE because PNG is still paralyzed because I couldn't be bothered to go back to the Pokemon Center in between videos. Um Crobat. Heat wave, cross poison, confuse right in U-turn, I read that already. Um Intimidate is gonna lower your attack and your special attack in Heat Wave isn't gonna do all that much. Um, Ice Fang, yeah, I can fear that I go figure you're going to be annoying if I hit myself, that's going to do a lot of damage. Please, so please don't hit yourself, please. Mm. Thank you very much. Alright, so that should take care of that down. Should. Um, come on, do it. How does that... You guys always have the life orb, too. How did that not take... Go away. Go away. Don't hit yourself in confusion here either. See what does more. I just a waterfall. Come on. Don't hit yourself. Thank you. Alright, so that did only a little bit less. Come on. Alright, so what's gonna happen there? Cross poison, yeah, yeah. Hoping for a status, I'm sure. Um, I'm confused. What am I gonna do? Don't hit yourself. I can't just damage Gyarados due to themselves in confusion because they're high attack and low defense, relatively low defense anyway. Come on. No. No. 
No. No. Alright, good. You're snapping out of confusion right now. Alright, so Waterfall is going to take you down, and I like how the wimpy little crow battle, all 52, almost took Gyarados down completely. Um, whatever. So you're finished, and uh, Gyarados is taking Life Orb Recoil. I think you got a strange from that, though. Who do I want to send out? Umbreon, just, um, for now. Uh, Aridos, okay. So, this is, uh, all 58. Uh, Balance, Toxic, Swagger, and Nightshade. Where the heck do you get Bounce from? I don't know that Aridos could learn Bounce. Whatever, it's probably... That sounds like a move to thing. I'm not gonna try and think too hard about that. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna use Swagger, which is... Not fun. Um... Uh, so much confusion and status and annoyingness there. Thank you. And why did my mind just blank out like that? Whatever. All right, so you are done. You are done. Um, <clears throat> Drapion, last Pokemon. Uh, was Poison and Dark. So unfortunately, Psychic isn't gonna work on it. I'm going to send an MP4 and see how much damage I can do, even though this thing is a Poison type. Level 55, Confuse Array, Swords Dance, Cross Poison, and Crunch. Um, I'm going to just use Earthquake. Uh, I don't think this can KO me with um, a Cross Poison because I've had Dripon use a lot of super effective moves on my Pokemon and not do that much damage. So I'm hoping that this is going to be the same thing. Um, come on. Uh, yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, 3 HP, way to go! And um, for once it's not something that I really minded because it wasn't a critical hit from something that shouldn't have done any damage at all or something like that. Good game, um, Janine. And I almost forgot your name there because I'm so terrible on names. Alright. And now I think it's time for me to go to the Pokemon Center. Triple exclamation point, so strong. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, I lost today, but I'll win next time. Um, no. Who's calling me? Apparently someone caught something interesting while fishing. I'll be back. I said I'll be back. Alright, so Sabrina, gym leader number f six here. So, saving my game, and Umbreon staying out because of Dark is being, um, fairly good against what's it called, psychic type. And, um, the game has been saved. Hello there. I knew you'd come. I had a feeling. What? You promised each other and so it's no surprise. You crazy psychic people. Anyway, so, um, so, yeah, how you doing here, Sabrina? Um, leading off is, I'll wait for the actual third out. Alakazam, level 60, gravity, psychic, focus blast, and energy ball. I don't know why you got gravity, because, um, that really serves no purpose. I'm looking at the rest of your team. No one has a ground type move or anything that you could hit a couple of additional Pokemon with. Uh, most likely it's just that a wasted turn or something dumb like that. Um, Focus Blast. Let's see if that does as little damage as it did the last time in Alakazam. Use Focus Blast on Umbreon. Yeah, I'm still laughing about that. Alright, so I actually did a fair amount of damage and some status going on and stuff like that, but whatever. So let's see, uh, Alakazam doesn't have the most wonderful defenses in the world, so I think I might get a KO. No, I don't get a KO with that. Alright. Um, let's see. I want to switch out. I want to switch out to who? Ixie, uh... You haven't had a battle in a while, and it's... Pretty much for the dumb reason that I didn't want to overuse the, um... Dragon Dance and kill everything strategy, but... Alright, so you're going to take the Focus Blast, which is nice. Um, you're going to hit it with Waterfall. It's probably going to be nice too. Yeah, haha, <laughs> that doesn't do damage. Um, yeah, so now you're using gravity, so I'm going to be hit by ground time moves, but that doesn't really matter anyway. Okay, so maybe I can use fly or anything, I think, but... Why would I be using fly and... Why would I be hacking a Gyarados to learn fly and... I'm thinking too hard. Alright, so who's next? Um, Leader Sabrina sending a Mr. Mon. Wanna switch my Pokemon? Yeah, I think so. HC Mon, get back out there. Mr. Mon doesn't have anything intimidating at all. 
Reflect, Skill Swap, Thunder, and Psychic. Um, well, 56 is... Uh, I don't know. Reflect is going to raise his physical defense, doesn't matter, because uh, Dark Pulse is special. Um, Thunder... is a powerful move that has a chance to paralyze him, but other than that, I don't think... Um, I don't think I have anything to worry about here, so yeah, let's see if that does do the paralyze and be annoying and stuff. Nope. Dark Pulse, Mr. Mime, you're going down. Alright, good. Who are you sending in now? Gallade, alright, so, um... Dragon, you still haven't gotten out of that much action against anything for quite a while now. I think since Chuck's uh, battle back in the last part. Um, Gallade's level 53, a psychic and fighting type. Um, one of my unspoken favorite Pokemon, and that's right, I can't use a flying bead to gravity, but... Still... Whatever. Um, Dragon Call. Dragon Call is a nice sob move. Well, 53, holding a citrus bar with the moves uh, Stone Edge, Psychic Cut, Night Slash, and Close Combat. Probably going to be seeing a lot of Stone Edge here because it's um, super effective, but. Um, yeah, that didn't that didn't even do half, and. Um, and um, uh, That's a citrus berry. I hope I can, um, I hope another Dragon Claw is enough to take you down after this, because I don't really want to deal with any more Stone Edge. Um, oh, you're not using Stone Edge, you're using Psycho Cut, okay, so that's a, uh, the one real, uh, physical Psychic type attack. Um, let's see. Come on, okay, good, that took it down. Uh, what was I saying about this thing? Yeah, it's a physical Psychic type, which is... Fun, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a lot much to say about Gallade, except that... Uh, except that I don't really have anything to say about Gallade at all. Alright, I'm done now. I'm sounding stupider by the minute. So Jinx, level 54, Psychic, Focus, Blast, Blizzard, and Parish Song. Um, no doubt you want to switch in something with Blizzard on a Dragonite, but not happening. Um, let's see. Yeah, your, atta my, your attack is going down, you got Flamethrower. Um, hopefully, Flamethrower will take care of you. Hopefully. You have, like, the longest cry of any Pokemon in terms of duration. Espeon, so, um, who am I going to be switching into? Who are your... Uh, how about your cousin, Umbreon? So, I am think you're going to be wasting your time healing. I don't know what you're going to be doing. Because you can't hit me anything with the not very effective Shadow Ball. Um, it's Espeon, level 58, Calm Mind, Psychic, uh, Shadow Ball, and Baton Pass. Um, suppose you can spam Calm Mind and Baton Pass off to of someone else, except that the only option would be Wobbuffet, who really can't make much use of that. Um, so I guess you're stuck here. So, Potion. Max Potion, rather. I forgot to buy more Forward Store, or Hyper Potions. Suddenly stops caring about that after the last part though, whatever. Alright, so use the max potion. And you are going to be using Shadow Ball, okay, so... Um, I don't see why, but... Ha! <laughs> it didn't do anything. Um, and now it's just time to start spamming Dark Pulse. Alright, now you're using Calm Mind. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time, but okay. Why do I question the artificial intelligence? There's no rhyme or reason when it comes to artificial intelligence. Alright, so I wish that would have done more damage. Come mind again. You know, just for last, let's see how much damage quick attacks gonna do. Cause Umbran doesn't have the greatest um, physical defense in the world. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say. Um, and what was I going to say? I don't know, but I, uh, anyway, Shadow Tag is going to keep me from switching out. I'd kind of rather have probably, um, I don't know, anyone else in here, but probably what's going to happen is, um, I'm going to be taking some damage from Wildfit's, uh, 
mirror coat. You use encounter. See how Samus Creek Tech does to this thing. That did um 44 damage to me, so that quick like, quick attack didn't do anything. That did like 20 damage to off, but whatever. So um I'm gonna be spending Dark Pulse it looks like then. So <clears throat> one of these days maybe I'll get a critical hit. And now we're flipping so I can't use um whatever you're gonna use. Um so I don't really think I need to read this guy's moveset because Ralph Fit really Wa uh, uh, Fit really only has one moveset. Um now they're just being annoying with the, uh, like, this one has Encore, uh, most of the food I know have Safeguard for Prevention of Sadits, which is, like, um, the bane of their existence, but, no matter. Uh, can you just, got? can you die already? Can you get a critical hit already? Why are you using counter? Doesn't, like, the game have a little variable built into the battle engine that tells it what the last couple moves category was, and then if they're mostly physical moves, it uses Mirko, and if they... Oh, right, because Counter is the only... Mirko doesn't hit a dark type. Duh! Anyway, Espeon, you were the last one standing. Uh, I already read your moveset, so, um... Uh, quick attack, get down over it. Have I said, have I made any intelligent decisions all day today? We were recording for a while and. Uh, die! 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 Alright, one more. Was the future you saw wrong? Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, so... After Umbreon just sat here and taking hits all day, special defenses... No one cares about the special defense over now. No one cares about the special defense at the moment because the battle's over. Sabrina! You crazy psychic people, as I like to call you. Level up for HTML, level 60 now, and um... Player has defeated Leader Sabrina. Alright. Closing your tab in Bulbapedia. And, um, moving on. Uh, give me a call again sometime. Certainly. Someone was giving me a call sometime, like, sometime being now. Someone has found a burp or something like that, apparently. Anyway, so, uh, Leader Blaine, number 7 in Kanto. You're a uh, slightly creepy old guy with a crazy mustache and um I don't know, someone who built this gym in the middle of a cave in the middle of our ocean. <clears throat> anyway, Torkoal, leading off level 54, yawn, sunny day, body slamming overheat. I kinda thought that this guy's uh Pokemon levels would be a little higher being one of the later dream leaders of Kanto, but I guess not. Um let's see, white smoke prevents his attack from being lower lowered with a uh intimidate, but that doesn't really matter since you only have body slam for a physical attack anyway. Um, Gerda's one hit KOing that guy. It's nice. I'm not losing some more HP due to Life Orb. It's not nice, but whatever. Uh, next up, Macargo, Fire and Rock type. So that's a nice, uh, four times weakness to ground and, um, water. Well, 58, Curse, Gyroball, Overheat, and Stone Edge. Um, this thing is probably gonna go down fast because the four times weakness to water. Uh, no hell of them. I wish I had something more interesting to say about these guys, but whatever. Um, let's see. Magmortar is up next. Uh, Flame Body, I'm gonna be worried about that when I'm using... Apparently Waterfall is somehow a compact move. I always imagine Waterfall is like... You're dumping a Waterfall down on the opponent. Like, the way the Surf is kinda like you're... Throwing a wave on... That you can Surf on at the opponent. I don't know. I never... Got why you're faster than me and not a problem. I'm, I'm not even paying attention. Wonderful. All right, who am I gonna use? Maybe you don't have anything. Uh, Scott doesn't have anything super effective against Midi. 
Oh, uh, you are going to be, um... What do I... I tried to, like, L and select that waterfall to see its base damage and stuff like that. Like, it works in black and white and sequels, but... That doesn't work in this game. In this game, they just, uh, select the move to be used. Anyway, um, at the very least, we're, we're, uh, Whirlpool is going to be building up a little bit of damage against it. And, um... <clears throat> the best you can do is Thunderbolt. And, uh... Um... Ugh, another max potion we're going to be wasting here. <clears throat> so, Blaine, how you been? Today is Wednesday, January 2nd. Uh, I finally got back to school after uh, Christmas break, and that was kind of nice, even though my school's really run by a bunch of idiots. It's still nice to be back there because um, it kind of gets boring when I'm just sitting here and editing video and doing homework and stuff like that. Anyway, okay, a critical hit on um, Flamethrower, I see. Uh, Whirlpool is still gonna do, like, very little damage to you. Um, Dragon Claw, I'm just gonna be spamming here. Um, looks kinda like full restore range for you. Um, either way, I'm gonna be using a revive on uh, Gyarados, I think, because I'm, I'm gonna wanna have Gyarados as a, like, um, not fainted in this gym battle. So let's do that, and Gyarados has HP restored, and yeah, using the full restore like I thought. <clears throat> and Dragon Claw. Okay, that did about. Now I got the flame body. Um, yeah, great. I didn't want that. What are you gonna use? Thunderball. This will probably take me down. No, I don't know. Three HP. I'm hurt by the burn, and yeah, I go down. All right, so who am I gonna send in now? I'm sorry, Dragon. I, I didn't. I didn't mean to have you faint. Java, you're just a pretty good all-purpose um. Oh, Pokemon, um, you are learning some attack, doesn't matter, you're a special attacker, although low kick is a, um, low kick is a physical move, but that's not going to be long of damage, I don't think, anyway. Dragon Pulse, yeah, I remember teaching Dragon Pulse to Arcanine way back, um, I remember, I don't even know why, I think it was just had a, had a free move slot for, um, I got rid of Rock Climb in the Cerulean Cave or something like that, because I forgot I needed it, so I taught Rock Climb to someone else, and then, so point you're having the same HM on two Pokemon, so I just Hey, you can use Dragon Pulse and like come in useful later, I guess I'll teach it to you. What am I talking about now? My mortar, goodbye. Uh you are gaining experience. Um Blaine is throwing a camera up, okay, so this guy is fire ground type, so there's another four times weakness to water. Uh eruption, earthquake, solar beam, and sunny day all fifty seven, um solid rock ability. So I guess we're only taking three times damage to water. Um, so that's how that ability works. Uh, your attack's going down, that's great. Um, waterfall. I am totally violating my general 5 second rule for commentary here. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but I try to, like, not let about 5 to 10 seconds go by without me actually saying something about the game. Um, <clears throat> I find that long stretches of me not saying anything is just weird. It's both, like, boring to watch and, um, sort of awkward for me to comment it on. Anyway, uh, woo! Rapidash! Well, 60, Flare Blitz, Megahorn, Quick Attack, and Overheat. I don't know what's with Megahorn, I'm surprised they don't have bounce, like, Every other rapid dash on the face of Earth has. Um, this ability is a flash fire, meaning that you can't hit it with fire types without no problem, because I don't know why you hit a fire type with a fire type move anyway. So unless you're doing competitive play and you're um, switching into it or something. Anyway, lastly, Hanzu, level 54, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Shatter Ball, and Sucker Punch. Um, I could heal here, but I am going to heal here, because it's probably going to use Sucker Punch and uh, try and KO me before... Um, 
before I actually get a chance to attack him. So let's uh, do that. Sucker Punch is going to fail. And then you're just going to go and um, use it on the next turn, but it's not going to do all much damage. Come on. Heal faster. Ooh, 200 HP exactly now. I think that's the most anyone on my team has right now. Flamethrower. Alright, so he didn't use Sucker Punch, so I healed for nothing. Well, it's one thing I don't have to do before the next battle. Um, uh, no, I don't want to... It's the dumbest thing of all time, kind of wrong for training about it. Waterfall! Take it down! Come on. I want to sit here for another 10 minutes, idle spamming and whatnot. Thank you very much. Blaine, good game. Um, I win, you lose. I get experience and um, a little bit of money from that. I suppose that's another good reason to do this, because they do give you a fair amount of money, and if you cook the amulet corn to anyone, um, I just thought of that now, but whatever. So Blaine, uh, you still did what? I wasn't... I'm doing everything wrong here. I'm forgetting what I'm going to say. I'm screwing up, screwing up who has what on the teams. I'm uh, <clears throat> forgetting what I'm going to say again. Which I forgot that I just said that. Silly me. I'm just in general failing here. Anyway, so let's save the game. And blue. Um, actually, I don't want Gyarados at first. I want an Arcanine at first. Um, I suppose if I was smart, I'd be reviving my team. Which, yeah, let's do that. All right. Hello once again, Blue. <clears throat> uh, you're welcome for coming to see you. Now, Blue. Um, this is a team of Pokemon that is probably has the ability to take on the champion. Leading off here is Executor 67, um, Leaf Storm, Psychic, Explosion, and Trick Room. Um, this is one thing that I'm not sure if I want to see use Explosion. Granted, the uh, Intimidate does lower your attack. Um, <clears throat> ooh, wow, I'm still faster than that. So, uh, I think this thing is purpose is the same as last time to set up Trick Room and um, let the slower Pokemon he has. Whoa! Dang it! But the other slower Pokemon it has, like Rapier and Machamp coming in and Sweep, um, and Tyranitar too. But I was hoping to take him down before I could do that, but no such luck. Um, so, uh, in addition to the five second round, I also try and limit the amount of times I say stuff like so and um, whatever and all that. No such luck for me though. Most of the time. Alright, are you gonna take him down this time or. Nah. Ooh, burn. Actually, I was hoping I wouldn't take him down, because I kind of want to run down the Trick Room counter, because you're probably going to send an extremely slow Machamp and have it um, clear up after that, which is not really fun, or for a carrier, close enough. Uh, who am I going to send in? I want to send in something kind of slow now. MP4, um, this thing doesn't have all that much it can do to MP4, although it is a lot 70, Earthquake, Mega Horn, Stone Edge, and Thunder Fang. Mega Horn coming from this thing is probably not going to be so much fun, so I'm hoping that being uh, this many levels below it, I'm going to be slower. Err, darn it. This is bad. Live, 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 live. Oh yeah! 11 HP, let's go! Come on. I know you got colossal defense, but... Four times effective, same type of attack bonus. Let's go, let's go, yes! Oh, critical hit. Just for good measure. Thank you very much, game. Things finally going my way for once. Like the last time I battled Blue, and he got all the critical hits, and it was no fun. Alright, so Arcanine. Uh, he's got one of his own. It has... <clears throat> uh, Flare Blitz, Thunder Fang, Extreme Speed, and Crunch. So, Extreme Speed will be ignoring the priority bracket. I'm pretty sure this thing is faster than a Gyarados, so I'll be able to... Um, Hit it and hopefully do a little bit of H of, of um take off a little bit, bit of his HP with Waterfall before he uses Thunderfang and KOs me. Then they ha Thunderfang has a chance of missing. I can always hope. Uh, let's see. You do not have Intimidated. It seems you have Flashfire instead. Interesting. Come on. See how much damage you can do. Come on. Go. 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 Uh, oh well. Almost. Yeah. Thunderfang. Gyarados. I'm sorry. I don't think you're gonna take this very well. Yeah, that was a critical hit anyway. <sighs> right, Nixie fainted, and I think after this turn, the uh, Twisted Dimensions are going to return to normal. 
I'm pretty sure you're going to be using one of those fancy healing items. Oh, you're not using one of those fancy healing items. Oh, right, you already... I guess you only have one hyper, uh, full restore. You're using an executor. Either way, so, um... You're going down. You're going down. And... Now I'm kind of hoping... Uh, yeah, now I'm just hoping that the message wouldn't return from normal, because I wanted to keep PNG in for Tyranitar and see what would happen, but... Meh. Um, instead, MP4 is going to come in, and... Um... Let's see, this thing has Firefang, which could be a problem. If Firefang shows up, I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, you're just whipping up a Sandstorm, so that's gonna raise your special defense a little bit. I'm not gonna count on outspeeding this thing, because MP4 isn't all that fast either, and even though, um, Tyranitar isn't the swiftest of foot, <clears throat> I don't want this thing to just get a free hit on Firefang and KO me and me waste a turn and stuff. Uh, what are you gonna do here? Yeah, low kick. Sandstorm rages. Alright, come on. Oh, I am faster than it, so I might have been able to, um, handle four one use Firefang. Come on. Damn it, that didn't even do a third. Yeah, that's a... That's a bit of an issue. Um... And before... Survived! It's going down Sandstorm, though. How do you survive that? Oh well, I'm not complaining, that's a good thing. Alright, so MP4 fainted, who's coming in? So I have what moves do you have anyway? Yeah, nothing very effective. Um... Dragonite, you're probably the best option here. Uh, let's see, so... Let's do a little bit of this business again. I spam the strategy way too much in game. I mean, it works, but whatever. All right, so pl I'd appreciate it if you take that um, super effective rock slide rather nicely. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, darn it! I just wasted a turn. I'm gonna have to use rise on someone. That's not good. Um. Who stands a chance of death fodder? HTML. Yeah, all purpose wall. <coughs> Almost all purpose anyway. So yeah, let's um go into these status healers and revives and um EXE. Low kick. See if you survive that. You might survive that. Yeah. Super effective and Tyranitar car hits like a train, but Umbrian doesn't weigh that much. Alright, so, um, I could fully heal Gyarados, or I could revive someone else. I'm gonna revive, um... <clears throat> I'm gonna go and revive MP4 instead. Um... Let's see, Rock Slide... Yeah, it's probably not gonna do all that much either. Yeah. While I'm at it... Oh. Duh, the Sandstorm and taking me down. I was gonna say while well, I'm at Alice, oh, I'll um, revive Midi too, but uh, it doesn't matter that much. Gyarados, you should be able to take this guy down with a waterfall. Um, lowering attack is nice too. Uh, so if you don't take this thing down with a waterfall, Rock Slide's not gonna do all that much damage, I think, after Intimidate. I'm hoping for that anyway. Uh, ooh, yes! Ooh, critical hit. Whether or not I needed that, I don't know, but. Alright, not complaining once again. So, who are you sending in now? You have two left. And the Sandstorm Rages. I'll be... Machamp and Pidgeot. Spoilers. Machamp. No guard ability. Ugh. I think I'm going to be spending all my energy fighting this guy. Um, no guard makes it so that in case uh, you don't know or haven't mentioned this in any recent videos, it makes it so that all, hits, all attacks use both on my camp and against it have perfect accuracy. <coughs> but, as much as I like to hit it with 100% accuracy hurricane or whatever, um, it works more in, it's in my champ's favor because Stone Edge and Dynamic Punch are two very powerful moves with pretty low accuracy and um, with Nogar you can even hit someone who's in like the mid-state of Fly, which can really be- ooh. 
Yay! Burn! I mean, someone in the midst of a fly, that's, um... <clears throat> that's so weird when you're in the middle of the air and you get hit by, like, dynamic punch. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so you're gonna be hurt by your burn. You didn't do all that much to me with the, um... Iron Ball, because I know that's got a massive, uh, base power when you use in conjunction with Fling, but... Um... Burn and all that is... Longer you're attacking... And when I just spout these random statistical Pokemon things, I, I don't know, I just confuse myself. I wish I wouldn't do that. So is that a critical hit I saw? I don't know, I was scratching my nose. <clears throat> anyway, I'd like you to go down quickly because this sandstorm is wearing me down a little bit and that's annoying. Come on. Yeah, taking flames right to the face. It's not something that I would like to do, but... Uh... Darn it. See, Stamp Storm is raging, so this should take you down now. If it doesn't, um, if it doesn't, that's fine. <clears throat> Let's see, Kenji, can you ask me this guy? Um, I don't, mm, the, the, Charge Beam. Using another photo store? Why do you, why are you using these now and not on someone else? Like the Arcanine that you had that probably could have used this more? Blue? Come on, Blue. Oh, uh, anyway. Yeah, my special attack's going up. <clears throat> um, I'm assuming you're going to be using Dynamic Punch and trying to confuse me with the um, base power and confusion effect and all that. I'm not going to be fun. I'm just pecking away with a uh, Charge Beam. Special attack's going up. I'm sorry, that just generates a really weird mental picture, Machamp trying to use a track on anybody. I am sorry, Machamp. PNG, take this thing down already. Yeah, enough with the horse. Take this thing down. Thank you very much. Now, I think this will KO. I think this will be good enough to KO. I think, I think, I think. Come on. No, not even close. And there goes the dynamic punch, and we have the confusion and the, um... Attract to working at the same time, so I have a quarter chance of actually hitting you. I was hoping for the paralysis with the static ability, but that didn't happen either. I have a full restore, and I'm not afraid to use it. For once, the opponent's been using more healing items in the battle than I have. <clears throat> Alright, so I don't think the full restore will, heal, will um, cure infatuation, but that'll snap me out of confusion, which is nice. Um, Machamp, uh, what are you gonna do? Dynamic punch again, so I'm just gonna be confused again. Yay. Talk, talk, talk. Um, commentary, yeah. Machamp, is this gonna. I can't believe I didn't take him down. Um, alright, so I'm going to try and hit him with something. Don't, 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 no. Alright, so PNG isn't going to be the hero of uh, facing the Machamp. Um, so who will be? No, and actually because the Sandstorm is going to be taking him down. That's happened multiple times in this battle. The Sandstorm is going to want to take the opponent down. Anyway, so... Um, lastly, Pidgeot. Normal flying type, level 72. Um, I find it interesting that uh, Bubble PG pointed this out. Uh, Pidgeot's the only Pokemon that is used by two gym leaders here, and um, Pidgeot is used by the first and the last gym leader, Faulkner and Blue. Um, I find that kind of interesting, I don't know why I decided to do that, I and mean, I'm still wondering how they calculate the base power of return when the opponent uses it, and, um, because, like, is it assuming a maximum happiness, so it's got, like, 102 base power, is it assuming an Standard happiness, which is usually 70. I just really randomly change the subject there. Um, Air Shloss is probably going to take Meganium down. I'm going to be, once again, revive spamming, spamming, um, a MIDI. Why not? Um, Air Shloss is almost definitely going to take MP4 down. I'd like it if it doesn't. 
Yeah, no hope for that. Alright, so, um... I don't know what you're gonna do here for against the Dragonite. You don't have anything that can really hit it all that hard. Although, just, you're being 15 levels above me, and anything's gonna hit pretty hard, so... I'm down to my last Pokémon. You have a double team return, air slash, and stealing, if I didn't read that already, holding Citrus Berry. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Fla uh, return. Alright, good, that didn't KO. I'm hoping that Fly is gonna hit you. Um, Stamstorm's still going. I just realized that Stamstorm's probably gonna take me down. I could get lucky with a critical hit and not have to deal with that. Come on, come on, go, go, go. <clears throat> no. Yeah, a critical hit wouldn't have done it anyway. Alright, Shell Bell, come on. Buffered by the Sandstorm, buffered by the Sandstorm. I forgot I had the Shell Bell. That saved my butt right there. Um, let's see. I have this battle won. Come on. Go to the um, max potion on you. So, unless you get a critical hit. And then I think I'm going to be reviving someone. Oh my god, the Shell Bell just saved my butt. Because I was just thinking I really don't want to have to replay this battle. Because. I mean, it's getting late for me. I've been talking here for an hour and a half, and, um... I don't have infinite memory capacity on my computer. And, uh, yeah, still win. And, um... This battle does take a long time to do, cause it's simply because of how high level this Pokémon are, and how much I'm just whittling away at HP and stuff, and why?! No! Of all the things! You still win! Maximize your defense! I don't care! Why?! <sighs> Let's go, do damage. Come on. Restore some HP, come on. If I hit you one more time, then I win the battle. Well, if I can just saw off all four turns and let the Sandstorm do its job. Uh, for perhaps I, I'm the one who was prepared. No, perhaps you're not. Come on, come on, come on. How many full restores do you have? This is insane. This is insane, too. Uh, you know, while using double team, um, <clears throat> I have two options. I can, yeah, I have two options. Number one is use Dragon Claw and hope it hits. Number two is um, use Dragon Dance and raise my own attack so that when I finally do hit him, it'll be a one-hit KO. Well, a KO anyway. And number three, yes, uh, I just said that I have two options, and then I'm counting to three. I can revive someone who can do a little bit more damage, hopefully. Um, that would probably be uh, either Gyarados with Ice Fang or. Um, or a PNG with the uh, electro type attack. Um, yeah. I kind of like the first option better, except I'm gonna liberally spam the healing items here because I don't want Dragonite to go down. And, um, <clears throat> and, uh, the Sandstorm is gonna just keep hitting me even if Pidgeot doesn't. And that's not good. Let's see. Or I could work from the run out of power points on return. That's an option too. Yeah, Sandstorm's still going. Um You know what? Fly and hope it hits. Go, up in the air. Up in the air, thank you very much. No hit. Alright, so you're gonna both take damage from Sandstorm. And you're gonna attack me first because you're faster and you're not gonna hit me. Ha ha ha. Yes! Alright, so come on. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Darn you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Blue, you hear me? You had better not have another healing item in there. Pidgeot, taking damage. All I have to do is survive one more turn, so I'm gonna use something silly like a. Um. Uh. Not a potion, because I do want some HP. Uh, how about a citrus bar? Nah. You know what, screw it, max potion. Because, um... After a fresh water citrus bar, I think a uh, return on a critical hit would KO me, and I really don't want that to happen. So now, um... Safety first, as they say, well... Not something that I've usually been doing in, um, Pokemon games or whatever. 
All right, you can flinch all you want. The standstorm rages. Uh, I'm not attacking, so I don't care if I do flinch. Goodbye, Pidgeot. Blue, you're almost as bad as Whitney, but all right. Wow, you gave me a lot of money. Ha ha ha, my scare tactic doesn't scare you at all. Yeah, not at all. Eh, it's been a long day. Brent, what do you have to say? Why? Why do you know that random fact about Bill? Anyway, on that note, I think that's been quite enough for this video. So, um, in the next part, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing since I haven't planned that far ahead. Read, comment, subscribe, watch the next part of this playthrough, find out what I'll end up doing, um, see you later.